from where you live. All right, temperatures around 50 degrees now. 48 Rochester, 51 Logan Sport, and 50 here at the television station. And these cumulus clouds we've had bubbling up today will dissipate this evening. But at the same time, high and mid-level clouds will begin to arrive. So we'll just call it partly cloudy. Winds decreasing very slowly in 41 degrees by 11 o'clock. Now the temperature is going to rise. In fact, we'll be in the 70s by Friday. But one thing that is not going to change is this windy regime we've got in place. In fact, the next seven days, really every day, will be breezy to windy in terms of the conditions. Uh, but showers and storms are on the way. We've got several rounds to get through here beginning Thursday and lasting right into Sunday. And it looks like the main severe weather threat is centered around Sunday afternoon and evening. We're going to have to watch that. And then a cool down, albeit brief, but it may bring uh, some freezing temperatures early next week. Partly cloudy skies tonight, low to mid-30s, even a few upper 30s. Attica to Pence and Perryville at 37. 36 Waveland over towards New Richmond. 35 Colfax and Chalmers up to Monon and Royal Center, Royal Center all around 35. Clouds mixed with some sun tomorrow. A, a little windy, though. The wind's going to kick up again out of the southwest. We're talking highs generally 60 to 65, those 67 Perrysville, 65 in Lafayette and 62 Logansport, 63 at Camden. No rain to speak of, but a gradual increase in some of this cloudiness tonight. And again tomorrow, clouds mixing with some dim sun, but you're going to have to wait until Thursday afternoon until we see anything in the form of rainfall. And there is Thursday, 66. Again, the wind's kicking up again and some scattered showers and storms arriving. I think the severe weather threat, though, will stay to our west. Friday, again, another round of scattered showers and storms, 72. Windy, it's not going to rain all day by any means. Uh, you may be, may be able to get out and enjoy it for a little while on Friday. And then another round Saturday, but the main severe weather threat is to the west. So any little wave of storms that moves through weakens with eastward progression. It will not do that Sunday. A storm should blow up here in the afternoon and evening. And I think Illinois, down into Missouri, there could be several tornadoes. As for us, it's looking more like a damaging wind event with a line of storms. 78 and windy for your temperature. 55 the one Monday and a light freeze Monday night. There you have it. Several rounds of showers and storms Thursday right through Sunday. And again, the main severe weather threat centered around Sunday at 78, but sharply colder and windy on Monday at 55, 58 on Tuesday. And we're getting to a time of year, Gina, where things are going to start blooming. The magnolia is already starting to bloom. I know here in Lafayette, and with 32 degrees, everyone's going to want to take note of that right. uh, as the vegetation progresses here. It's around the corner. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, Chad, yeah. thank you. Okay. Well, Mike Clef joins us now with tonight's sports. Mike, it was a great first half.